All right, this is just to show you guys um, something my students are going to be working on next week. We're going to, um, well, last week we started coding our drone to move up and down. And what I've done today is added the rest of the rotation and the forward and backwards uh, speed. What I'm going to have them also do is add something to their project that they have to have someone else search and find. So I'll show you what is going on with that right now. So we added another 3D object and they could give somebody the coordinates that way that they have to search for it. And then by looking at the coordinates, you can see while I'm moving my drone, it gives you the updated coordinates of where it's at. So that's how they'll be able to give someone the coordinates and say, okay, this is what you got to find or list what you have to find. Otherwise they'll be tooling around in their little cities or wherever they're at. Some of them have a castle, some have a village. Um, they'll never find whatever it is you're looking for. So we're heading over to the park. Oh, and I just spotted something. I'm supposed to have donuts right here, but when I'm looking at my code, I can see something that I forgot. So I am going to turn around. I did not give my X the negative, so I know where they're at. I gotta go back to where we were. And I'm just gonna look at this number here. Now it's moving kind of slow. When I'm not recording, my drone does move a lot quicker, but you can code it to, um, you know, and, and set the speed on how fast, but it's just with the process that I've got Screencastify on and um, coding and moving and all this at the same time, it's going to go a little slow. So just a little patience and we'll be there. I know it's at the next intersection. I ran into this a little while ago, thought I changed my code and I didn't. But one of the things right now the students will have to do is move their drone to the location that they want to hide their next object to get the coordinates. Um, I do want to find out if there's another, an easier way to do that. Oh, look, there they are. You know, it's where everybody keeps their donuts out in the middle of the street. Um, I did try placing the donuts on one of the park benches, but I think because oops, the way that it's designed, you it's part of the actual 3D background, so I can't do that. I'm having a little trouble. I'm forgetting what my, what my um, code is. All right, there we go. We found our donuts. We get a point. Yay. So I can't wait to see what the students come up with, um, especially my one student who's doing underwater because she was already talking about wanting to um, um, program some treasures down there to be found. So we'll keep everyone updated. Thanks for watching.